What's up everyone? It's Light Bright. This is my vlog closing out week one in EXO Academy. So I'm just going to do a quick recap. Uh, we did accomplish our first two coaching sessions with Kate McGee Physical Therapy. Learned some new stretches and how to target some pain points I have. And in our next session, we'll be going over a new stretch program I'm very excited about. And I've completed my first coaching session with Alex Myers. And we went over some good poking strategies, some neutral, and how to harness our anxiety and tournament nerves, using them to fuel the fire and keep us focused and mindful in the moment while we're competing. Not letting our nerves dictate what we do and not letting our nerves keep us from playing our best. So a lot of helpful stuff this week, a lot of great things I've already started implementing. And one thing I can say already is uh, from streaming Street Fighter all week and learning how to multitask between the match, kind of glancing over to the chat, getting real tech advice from all my friends and having them give me pointers while I'm playing, kind of throwing in some things to implement right away has been really helpful because typically I would write all this stuff down and like kind of look over it a few times, be like, okay, I'm going to try to do this during a match. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to try to be mindful of this situation or, or aware of um, what I can do against this character. But when you're getting that advice in real time and you're seeing it, it sticks with you faster, at least for me. And I've learned so many new combos and uh, an Oki setup and a lot of new ways to punish this week and um, after spending a few hours training with Arliath and being forced to at least get these combos out even though I would drop them several times before they came out it's taught me one thing and it's that I will never ever let the fear of dropping an input during a match keep me from trying that input um, that is I think what has stunted my growth for so long is that I tell myself I can't do it so I don't even bother trying if you don't bother trying not only yeah you can't fail but you also can't succeed if you don't even try so now I have a new mindset and it's to approach a matchup with my game plan intact and to control the pace of the match and to implement what I've learned and if I drop it fine because there's going to be a day when I don't drop it and I have to do it while the moment is is happening while the iron is hot I have to strike land these inputs land these combos and if they drop it's okay because they won't drop eventually and we will keep pushing forward and implementing the new things we learn in the heat of the moment when it matters the most if I do them in the lab a hundred thousand times on each side perfectly without dropping them but I can't pull them out in a match when it actually matters then there's really no point at all and I'm not gonna let that keep me from trying anymore I'm going to move forward, do everything I've been learning, keep adding the layers throughout the weeks of EXO, and leveling up as we move. Um, I'm so incredibly grateful to all of you guys so much for the follows, retweets, the love, the auto hosts, and for nominating and voting for me for the Reddit Street Fighter uh, North American Regional Finals sponsorship. I can't thank you guys enough for even thinking of me or throwing me in the ring like that. It's such an honor just to be nominated. If I win, that would be fucking incredible. I would love to go and have another chance to compete at a major while my passion is as hot as it's ever been. And if not, that's okay, because there are plenty more majors coming up, and I'm just looking forward to pushing myself further and showing up and laying it down and scratching people up in the, in the bracket. Um, all I really just need is to keep going with what I've been doing and that's what I plan to do. I My passion is bigger and brighter than ever and having all of you guys believe in me helps me believe in myself and thank you guys so much. I can't wait to see how the next three weeks play out and everything afterwards. It's going to be amazing.